how y'all doing? My name's Rick. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Camerar SD1 video slider. So let's do this. Got my trusty knife out here. I'm going to cut the tape off this thing. It came in a really nice, nicely packaged box here. So let's get into this and see what we got. Pretty excited. I want to say I appreciate everyone that watched our unboxing of the tank and the follow focus and the uh, mat box from Camera R. So we're hoping that this one will be really nice too. We're excited about the Camera R products and looking forward to using them have been using them so far successfully on some commercial spots that we've been putting together here and so we we love those guys and we love the products they're making so today we got another one coming so let's take a take a look at it here well once we get into it it's it's taped together pretty good which is a good thing i guess right all right so here we go so what do we got we're gonna open it up show you guys how it kind of comes packaged here. This is the Camera R SD1. We've got some bolts and a Allen wrench, an Allen wrench there to be putting it together with. So that's part of it. Here's one of the axles. Nicely put together in some plastic, completely protected and wrapped up there. The same anodized red trademarks of the camera R guys. You can see that there. Shot of the wheels there on the end. Looks pretty good. There's another one here. So we got two of these. A set. Very nice. And then inside here it looks like we've got the slider. So Let's take this off here. This looks very, very nice so far. You can kind of kind of see it there. Kind of slides. It makes a little bit of a sound. You might be able to hear it there. But it's feels pretty smooth. Just with nothing on it, of course. I'm sure I'm going to have somebody out there say, how can you tell how smooth it is? You don't even have a camera on it. That's true. But I can slide it and get a pretty good idea. Move some of this stuff out of the way. We'll put this thing together here pretty quick. So, here it is. Maybe you guys can see that. I like how they put their name in here. That's kind of cool. It's got some mounting points underneath. Let's see if you guys can see those there obviously one here for your camera tripod mount however you guys choose to set this thing up so it's also got something on it which I just noticed which is a bubble level it's got a little bubble level built into it this whole thing uh, seems to be appears to be anodized aluminum just like what I would expect from these guys after the other gear that we got with the uh, completely aluminum components so it makes a little sound you guys can probably hear that but you know if you're just doing a pretty nice little dolly or slider move across there it'd be pretty cool so let's see if we can put this thing together take these things out of the packaging get an idea what these things look like once we get them out here. Very nice. Aluminum axle. I like how they're packaged. Very nice. Of course it's got these stops on it here so when you get it put together course skateboard wheels these look like very nice ones my understanding is these have really uh, high performance 
bearings inside of them. Feels pretty smooth in that aspect of it. Get this other one out here. Get these things put together. If you're like me, I'm always excited to see the pieces, but the pieces, once they're put together for the final product, you know, and I, I know there's a lot of people out there that make this sort of thing, and you know, that's all good and fine, but this here is a $129 slider. Uh, the big thing I hear a lot of people talking about these days is, you know, will it fit in my backpack or will it be something that I can carry around pretty easy? And the, qu the answer is, is that with this one, I believe this is a two foot slider. So, uh, should be able to get this into a backpack. Fairly simple. Uh, no, no worry about this thing falling off the end. It's got a couple of stops on each end of it here that you can probably see. See if I can get that up there for you guys. A couple little stops here. Uh, Allen head, so you could probably remove those if you needed to. I don't know why you'd want to, but I guess you could. But uh, that's that part. And uh, the cool thing is, is that one of the things that I noticed about this product when I was looking at it online was that it had uh, a couple of mounting points inside here. So whenever you uh, you can mount your your wheels all the way on each end, or you can even move them in here closer on these, so you can actually get a really nice turning radius there. But let's see if we can get this thing put together and kind of get an idea here what it looks like. Has an Allen headed screw. Just pretty much like everything else it has. Uh, typical Allen wrench. Love it that it comes with the tool so you don't have to worry about going to try to find something. You've got the tool right here to put it together with so that's pretty sweet. So let's uh, take this and put it together. It's my first time to ever put one of these together so I'm just going to make some assumptions here. This is a recessed this is a recessed uh, insert here where I'm screwing this in. I like the fact that it's threaded, so you just thread that through. And then we can take and put this wheel on here, put a set of wheels. Just like so and then we can put our washers on there I mean it's kind of a kind of a no-brainer on assembly here so I like these these things are all uh, seem to be uh, when you tighten that down it's pretty tight so you can see me rolling it towards you there kind of get more of an idea what that looks like ah, look at that thing sliding so slick it already just slides slides down there all right let's get that other wheel on again making assumptions here as to how this is put together Kind of a kind of a no-brainer, I'm thinking. Get that all out of there. I'm gonna put this Allen screw through. It is threaded in there. We're gonna thread it through like so. through that. I guess I should put my washers on first, right? Probably be a good idea. 
No, actually, I don't think I did that on the other end, so this will go through. I put it upside down. I want to make sure those are. I want to make sure these are pointing down, as you can see, because you can screw that down and lock this puppy down. Let's put that through there. Get our washers up through. Pretty nice little piece here that screws on there. It is also aluminum. Very nice. Get that started. Sorry about this. So once you got that in there. Not only a slider, but you got yourself a little dolly there too. Pretty sweet. Now it did come with this piece here, which I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea what this piece is for. There are a couple of mounting points in here, so for the time being, just to keep from losing it, I'm going to put it in here. What it may be, ah, just had a thought. did notice that over on this side there is a hole here so I'm going to screw this in here and let's see if it does what I think it's going to do. I think it's going to be a lock. Yep, that locks the slider in place I guess so if you're using it as a, a dolly that locks this plate so see I figured it out. If I can figure it out you can figure it out no problem. So now then we got to slider here. So, let me put a camera on this thing. Let's see what it looks like. What do you say? Lock this puppy down. Get it set on my table here. Same thing on this end. We can lock these down. Put them down to the floor. Basically, you could have this thing sitting on the ground or anywhere. Now you got yourself a nice little camera slider. Very nice. Let's put a camera on and see what it looks like. All right, so just for fun, I put my 5D Mark III with my camera tank cage, my FF3 follow focus on that rail system on a really old Bogan tripod head that I have mounted to that. Let me get over here where you can, guys can really see this thing up close and personal. You can kind of see how I got it set up here. There's the... I'm going to, I'm gonna, for a lack of a better term, I'm going to just call these things jacks. So as you can kind of screw them down and I got this thing on. You can see from this camera rig that I got on here, this is a very heavy duty, very heavy setup that we have on here. Can get up here and get really close to some of this stuff now. Here's the other end of it. I'm just gonna walk around this thing. I have to move some stuff out. Of it. All right, so here we are. Now then, I'm just gonna show you guys that I can slide this thing. This is a very heavy setup that I have on it too. Heavier than probably anyone would really ever use on a setup like this, but you know. I'm gonna just let you guys take another peek at it here. Here's what I got. Now this isn't going to be my final setup on it by any means, but just kind of show you guys what we got here. You can see this thing back up a little bit from it so you can see the whole thing of course I got my heavy heavy rig on there heavier than the weight that should probably be on that thing because it'll still slide but it's not as smooth as some people probably would really like it to be because I've probably got too much weight on it you don't need that much weight for a slider but I just wanted to kind of get an idea if I were to max it out what kind of a slide action I would get on it and uh, 
I'm going to set this up right here and I'll show you. Show you guys how this thing kind of slides with my heavy setup on it. It moves okay. I'm actually using this I'm actually using this lock as a grip to move this camera along on here. And it's it's smooth. I don't even have to hold it because of the way that thing's sitting on the, on the ground there on the table with those those padded locks. It ain't sliding, it ain't moving. I'm talking about the base, not the slider itself. The slider itself is actually sliding rather nicely considering the kind of weight that I got on this thing. But that is the Camera R SD1 slider. And then the next thing that you'll see is I'm going to put some footage in and kind of show you guys some actual footage of this thing in action on some TV commercial work that I'll be doing. So uh, stick around and watch some of that, but for a uh, $129 slider that will also work as a, as a dolly, I mean a skate dolly, let's put this thing down on its wheels. This part, weight-wise, I'm not worried at all about because that's really super smooth. So what I could do with that would be phenomenal. What I really like about it is you got basically two products in one. You got a slider that if you want to just do some sliding, or if you need to move this thing some distance, it's uh, it's smooth, so shouldn't have any problem doing that. It's very smooth. These uh, wheels and bearings move really nicely on top of this table, so I would be able to get some really smooth shots from that. So instead of talking about it, let me show you some. 